about as a way for you to measure your students' reading ability, give them reading practice, and spot readers who may be struggling. Students are given a passage to read, and after completion receive a words per minute reading score, WPM, which is the number of words they read correctly. The traditional paper-based version of this activity requires the teacher to work with each student individually, timing and marking the score sheet in real time. Read Aloud provides a way for students to record their reading using a PC or tablet, so students can complete the activity simultaneously, saving classroom time, or they can complete the activity outside class or even remotely. Later, the teacher assesses the student's reading quickly and efficiently using a custom interface. The latest version of Read Aloud uses state-of-the-art AI technology to match students' speaking against the reading passage automatically. This dramatically reduces the amount of time the teacher needs to spend on assessment. Now it's possible for a single teacher to administer WPM word per minute assessments on hundreds or even thousands of students. Let's see how this works. From the student's perspective, Read Aloud is quite simple. They choose the activity from the course page. They're presented with a recorder. They test their microphone first, and when their microphone has detected audio, they'll be shown the Start Activity button. When they click the Start Activity button, the passage to read will appear and they can begin speaking. After one minute, their audio will be automatically uploaded to the server, ready for evaluation. To grade a student's submission, the teacher clicks on the student's entry on the grading page and they'll be taken to the reading passage display. They can check the audio by listening to the player, which is located on the top left, and when a word is marked incorrect, it will be highlighted as red and the score at the top of the screen will change. The teacher can save those grades and go to the grading page or they can save those grades and move to the next ungraded attempt. Read Aloud also has an AI feature which if enabled and the AWS region is set to one that supports transcription will enable automated machine evaluation of the students' responses. These can be viewed from the Machine Evaluations tab at the top of the page. On the Machine Evaluations page, you will see a list of raw scores on the center left and a list of adjusted scores on the center right. The raw scores are what the AI has evaluated them to be and the adjusted scores are once we've applied our error estimates. By clicking on the review or the regrade buttons, we can actually view how the user's attempt was evaluated. Spot check mode highlights the mistaken words in green. When the user clicks on the word, they can hear what was said in that location and they can mark it correct or not. Somebody bought. In. No. Transcript mode highlights the mistaken words in grey, and when a word is clicked, a little popover appears showing how that word or words were transcribed, and we can see why they were marked as incorrect. This helps us to enter alternatives that will help us compensate for machine transcription errors. Now Read Aloud has the AI grading or evaluating the student's submission, but sometimes the AI is incorrect and it marks words which were in fact pronounced correctly as incorrect, and we call those false negatives. As one way of mitigating against 
false negatives or reducing their frequency, we can add alternative renderings of a particular passage word. So in the examples you see before you, the number 10 and the number 6 are both equivalent to the word 10 or the word 6. Uh, anything in place of 100% will be marked correct. Anything in place of the word Yeti will also be marked correct. Uh, now if we want to add a new one, for example Himalayan, because Himalaya mountain range often is mistranscribed as Himalayan mountain range, we would go like this. And now both Himalaya and Himalayan will be, will be marked correct if they come uh, in the place where the word Himalaya is present. The newest setting that we have is error estimation. And this is the method that we use to estimate the number of false negatives that the AI will produce when evaluating a student's response. We add the error estimate to the calculated number of words read correctly. So if the user reads 60 words correctly and the error estimate is 4, then we will grade them as having 64 when we create the adjusted scores. There are raw scores and adjusted scores, and the adjusted scores include compensation for errors by using the error estimation as set here. When the error estimation method is set to auto, it will count the differences between human evaluated student submissions and machine evaluated student submissions and average the number of errors that it finds. If we set the error estimate method to fixed, then we can specify a specific number of errors, perhaps five, and that will be used to calculate uh, the adjusted scores. Let's have a look at those adjusted scores. On the machine, evaluated, on the machine evaluations tab, we can see words per minute, accuracy percent and grade percent. These are the raw scores. The adjusted words per minute and the adjusted accuracy and the adjusted grades are the result of adding in the error estimates. And we set an error estimate of five, which means that the adjusted words per minute has gone from 62 to 67 or 65 to 70. We've added five. So we've seen that the error estimate can be calculated as the difference between the human graded attempts and the machine evaluations, machine evaluations for the same attempt. So in order to generate those automatic estimates, we need to grade a few of our attempts manually. Uh, even though we are manually grading, we still have the benefit of spot check mode and transcript mode. So this really speeds up the time that it takes to grade an attempt because rather than lis listening to one minute of an attempt, we can simply listen to the words that the AI believes were mistaken. So let's try that now. Okay, we're still in grading mode. Let's put that into transcript check mode, uh, spot check mode. Yep. Of a Yeti, I can't. Okay, so of a Yeti R seems to be correct, doesn't it? Of a Yeti, I can So if we turn our mode back to grading, and we mark these ones as correct. Go back to spot check mode, and let's check uh, fur and R. Uh, fur and a lean. That also, of course, looks correct. So again, we'll switch it to grading mode, check those ones as correct. And when we're happy with that, we save our changes, and we are returned to the grading page. It's also possible to choose save and next, and that will simply take us to the next ungraded attempt. For more information about Poodle Read Aloud, please contact us at poodle.com.